Samores. Yeah, my ears look huge. I don't know. Dumbo. I look like Chewy. My baby Chewy is sleeping. Our ears. Clearly, I have moved. <laughs> this, I, I need to figure out, um, I need to figure out camera angles and like lighting in this new place because my head's cut off. Is that okay with you? <laughs> I, this chair won't go down anymore. And like, if I bring it closer, then I'm gonna be talking like this. The camera's so far away, so I hope that you can hear me. I'm gonna talk to you like this. Well, anyway, bear with me while I figure this out. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. Yes, I moved and it's been a crazy process. I feel like I'm still moving. Um, you know, some of my favorite videos on YouTube are when people show me their homes. So, if you guys want me to show you my home, I will. It's kind of like empty right now, but this is the kitchen, clearly. If you guys don't like that background, let me know. I'm sorry. But I love my kitchen. Look at this. I love my kitchen. I love the white, the gray. It's super modern. I love it. I love it. I'm in love with this place. I feel like I'm literally, I feel like I have to talk to you like this. So, um, filming is quite tricky, you know, you guys know I'm, I'm a full-time student, I'm a full-time nurse, so this is one of the wonderful things that I do, um, that I love, so I never want it to feel like it's stressing me out or like I'm rushed to do it, so, so I might not get around to it that often, but I love you guys, I love being here, this is one of the best things I've ever done. I love this community so much and I'm here to talk about the best, uh, I'm making this video to talk about the best perfume, oh my god my nails don't even go there. These are my best purchases that I've had lately, not all of my purchases but these are definitely my favorites that I've had so far in the past few months. I don't remember when I bought when, when I bought what but I know these are new and they are oh, like can you see me okay this has got to stop um i know these are these are some of my most favorite that i've bought lately like super successful buys and i none of them were blind oh one uno one was blind but it was affordable so i felt okay about that and it turned out great so I guess I'll rank these. Yeah, let's do that. I'll rank them from, they're all my favorite, but I'll rank them to my most favorite. Oh, and I do have an honorable mention because it's not a perfume, but it's a fragrance. And boy, if there's anything more exciting and soothing and just makes you feel luxurious and home is a good candle. And let me tell you, it's two. Right here, this is called Santal, which is my favorite. Like, it's, we'll talk about that one in a second. This one's called Banana Bread. So these are from the most beautiful, like stunning model LA girl. Uh, these are all organic. The name is Breezy, Breezy Candle. You should look her up, look her up on Instagram and her website. Um, these are, she has so much information about how toxic candles can be and the fumes and what, it, what they cause um, in your body, like how bad it is to inhale um, toxic candles. So these are all organic. They're, she pours them here in LA. I love her so much and she's just a beautiful soul and she makes... Okay, so I've had these candles. This one's called Banana Bread. Perfect for fall. This is absolutely... Like I want to go like... I want to bite into this. I want to drink it. It smells so good. If you like your fall Bath and Body Works candles, don't even get me started. Like this is this is like Bath and Body Works times like luxury a hundred. It's so delicious, and I haven't even lit this. Do you see that? I have not even lit this. I've had this with the lid off, and it. I had it on my work desk, and it like the aroma surrounding my work desk is to die for. So check this out. This one's banana bread if you want false scents. Holy cannolis. You don't even have to light it. Oh, it's banana bread. And this one, 
And this candle to me is like all around goodness. Look at this gorgeous glass that she, look at this gorgeous glass that she uses to pour these. It's just stunning. And I kind of messed with the oil, so it might look messy. But uh, this is like nothing I've ever smelled before. It's creamy, it's woody, like it's Santa wood. It's but it's sweet and soft and like kind of feels like you're outdoors but like you're also making something sweet oh my gosh this is so good you guys have to check out her um you guys have to check out her her company out it's breezy candle and i'm just obsessed she has a bunch of tea lights that i'm gonna get a bunch of more flavors uh smells i'm gonna get a bunch more and tell you guys how they are but yeah check her out I'm obsessed okay so I'll get you guys started on my scent of the day which is this is this is uh, poets of Berlin uh, Wilhelm Parfumery New York again my apologies but I think I think the first person that I heard talk about this one was Emmy's world of fragrance and then um, I wanted to get a sample of it for the longest time and uh, then I saw a, I saw Demi talk about it and I was like okay I'm just gonna get a sample so I got a sample and I didn't think it was that big of a deal at first and then it was a really hot night I had sprayed it I had, I'd sprayed it all over my pajamas and it just smelled delectable but it smelled like like it smells like a night out to me it smells like it's sweet blueberry but a little smoky let me be a good girl and actually look up the notes for the first time not for the first time I think I've done it before but let me see so and also uh, when I first smelled this it reminded me of my lovely darling, uh, the perfume nest, Christine, because she loves lemon. So I don't, she didn't like. She doesn't like this very much. But to me, this is. But to me, I get this like kind of fresh, kind of smoky lemon bur burberry blueberry blueberry note. That's like. I don't think this smells very creamy, but it's it's just very like I think a lot of people would a lot of people would say this smells like a gourmand, but to me like I don't want to eat it. It just smells sweet and fun. That's what this smells like. It's like sweet and fun and like going out, but you smell sweet and like edgy. That's what this smells like. This is Poets of Berlin, Berlin Wilhelm. And what the notes are, it's um, blueberry, lemon, vanilla, green, wild orris. I have no idea what that is. Sandalwood and vetiver. So yeah, I've been loving this lately. It's on me today. And it's just like, I want to say it's delicious, but it's, it's like not, not necessarily delicious. It's, it's, Fun. It's so sweet and fun and interesting to wear. Okay, this is Clean Reserve Amber Saffron. I just love this and it actually lasts on me. It actually lasts better than the, than, it actually lasts better than the Poets of Berlin. Uh, this one lasts a pretty good amount of time and you know, out of the nozzle, I I blind so this is the one I blind bought because I've heard a lot of people talk about it and I don't know if it's discontinued but I found it for a really good price and I blind bought it I was like whatever it says uh, it's a floral oriental which we don't use that word oriental right we don't use that word but it is uh, yeah it's clean reserve amber amber saffron and it's like a it's like a very clean musky spicy scent I love wearing this to work. Uh, I think I already told you I'm a nurse. <laughs> so I really, 
I really love wearing this to work because it's not that strong, but it makes me feel clean but spicy and like interesting at the same time. This is a really good one. If you guys haven't checked out, if you can get your hands on Amber Saffron, I highly recommend it. Um, this is a very successful blind buy for me and I really, I'm really enjoying this in the daytime lately. This thing stopped recording. I don't know if you caught anything I said about Amber Saffron, but it's good and you should try it. And it's affordable and I'm like, I'm loving it. So <laughs> this, do you know what this is? I know you do. Flower Bomb to me is nuts. Okay, so this is one of the strongest scent memories that I have. This was Party Charlie. I wore this like night and day, girls nights, girls dinners, party hard, going to the club, dancing, bartending. I wore this to death in my early 20s and man does it transport me back there. So, oh and if, if I sound stuffy and weird it's because my allergies have been going insane for like three weeks. But that's why so yes as soon as, as soon as i open this up as soon as i smell this i want to go party i want to go party i want to go put my all of my eyeliner and glitter on and i just want to like be out till three in the morning that's what happens when i smell this i but i always i feel I'm, I'm always debating on like things that bring me such strong scent memories and bringing them back into my collection because I feel like those memories should stay where they are and I don't need another bottle. But with Flower Bomb, I just, I really love the scent still. It makes me feel clean and pretty and girly and I know that uh, everyone knows the scent but I still think it smells quite interesting. It's, it's very, it's very unique to me even though it's so popular and you can spot it anywhere I still feel like this is such a special perfume and so I, I really wanted it back even if it's just to wear to bed because I really love this scent and I do love how I feel when I wear it but on the other hand I do feel like I'm 21 again so I don't know if I'll be wearing this out because like as I as I smell it like all oh, these memories keep coming back to me but I still really love Flower Bomb. Ears are so red. This one I've wanted for quite some time and this is really beautiful and interesting. The, I have, I've wanted this for so long. This is, uh, let me tell you what it is, Nyella Vermeer Creations EDP and this is Bombay Bling. I first tried this when on the first exchange that I did with the most classiest, beautiful girl, Eve Spider Smells. I talk about her a lot because we're like BFFs, self-proclaimed. <laughs> I She gave me a sample of Bombay Bling and I've been in love with it for so long. And I never got it because I really wanted the bottle, the big bottle. Stunning, beautiful masterpiece of a bottle. So I was just like, I wanted the bottle. I never got the big bottle because I was like, when? I'm not gonna wear it that much. And I just kept procrastinating. So I was like, you know what, whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna get the little travel sizes and see how I do and then maybe get the big bottle because the big bottle is stunning. You guys gotta go look at it. I want that, I want it. But I got this one and it's just, again, again, such a beautifully, romantic interesting creamy summer scent and oh i i think this is such a beautiful perfume let me let me look up the notes for you because i'm such a good girl this is mango and by the way these travel also the travel size bottles are really stunning as well i don't know if you can I don't want to show you because I'm going to show you my nails, but can you see from here? These are really actually very beautiful and I appreciate these kind of travel size 
uh, perfumes that are well made and like thought of because it makes me want to wear them. Other ones, I just, they're so simple that I don't want to wear them. So this is mango, lychee, black currant, cardamom, cistus, you mean citrus or cistus, <laughs> Turkish rose, jasmine, sambac, ylang ylang, tuberose, blah, 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 tobacco, sandalwood, cedar, vanilla. There's a lot. And it's just a very creamy, luxurious, refreshing, and very intricate. Obviously, it's got all those notes, and you can really smell them in here. The fruit is there. The creaminess is there. It's just so stunning. So this is one I'm so glad to finally have, and can't wait to wear it more. It's just stunning. If you guys want like the most, this is like, uh, I don't know if you guys have been to Malibu in California, but there's like a Malibu wine place where there's a picnic and everyone's outside and girls are in there dressed up in their Sunday's best and, and just having the best time drinking wine and speaking of. Yes, it's the daytime and it's Sunday and I got home early from work. I have no homework this weekend, so we're drinking and we're filming. Yeah, this is this, that kind of perfume. I just love it. Forever grateful to Eve that she has introduced me to so... You guys have to check out her channel. She will teach you so much about these perfumes and indie houses and I just love her. Okay, so... I am just going to talk about this quickly because I think this... Uh, deserves a solo album, a solo video. This is Rosendo Matu Floral Amber Sensual Musk number five, numero cinco. I think I've talked about this before on my channel, about wanting it, not wanting it, kind of being weird. This is one where I smell it and I don't necessarily love it. Like, I don't smell this, and I'm like, oh, it's so good. No. But when you wear this, this is, I wanted to get this because I feel like it's such an art piece. Uh, I knew that I wasn't like crazy about it, but I know that I smell art when I smell this. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to get it and experience it because one of my favorite is, I'm recording my favorite thing about perfumes is the experience okay sometimes I may not love the scent but if I can have an experience and a story and and have like this roller coaster with it like it changes and it makes me feel certain ways that's what I look for in perfumes this is Oh my god, this does to me like what Musk Ravageur does to me, but in a different way. Like the aftermath of Musk Ravageur, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this deserves a whole solo album. No, video. And I will do that. This is stunning. You guys need to get a sample. Ooh, it just does things. It does things. Okay, I got two more. And this is this is a gem in my collection oh my god i fell in love with this so hard the first time i smelled it and eve uh, eve eve sent me the extrait of um alaya the extrait and i again that was a blind sniff and i didn't know what it was and it was love 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 it's not available anywhere so then my other love angie she sent me this is Alaya Blanche and so I think I need to just blind buy this whole all of Alaya's perfumes because I just love love this one it's like the best floral vanilla ever I just and you know for someone that doesn't get compliments I have gotten quite a few compliments on this one and I just feel so rich and creamy and floral and it's it's inexplicable how good this perfume is and i was totally expecting it to be like i'm spitting everywhere can you see it, it looks like rain i was totally expecting this to be like 200 dollars, 
and then I looked it up and it was like 40 bucks, okay? This is so luxuriously like rich smelling that I can't believe it. And the juice looks darker because of the vanilla, the vanilla goes dark, but you guys have to try out Alaya. I think I'm saying it right, Alaya. Now I think I'm gonna blind buy the Alaya nude because clearly I love this house. And the last baby I will talk about is my baby. And so Simply Lauren Sense told me I should get a sample. I don't even think she had smelled it before. <laughs> but she go, she told me to get a sample of it and I was like, girl, whatever you say, I do. So I got a sample. This is Mise en Sur Très Cher. Tres Cher. Uh, Holy cow, it gives me feelings. I this I really think this is a re, um, this is totally a repurchase. Well, how many of these are repurchases? I don't know, we'll get into that later, but I'm definitely always keeping this in my collection. It's a very soft, like, um, I don't wanna say beachy vanilla, but it does have like that beachy kind of vibe, very soft summer, summer vanilla. Oh my God, I love this from the first, first time. This was love at first sniff too. Uh, did I say two, two of any of these? Uh, look at, I'm like, girl, you just got here. Why are you trying to leave me already? I don't know if you guys can see how much I've used, but She's trying to go and I'm trying to keep her, so I just, oh my God, I gotta spray it. I, don't, I, I know I have Poets of Berlin on, but, oh my God, this is, oof, 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 oof. This is luxury. How many times have I said that? Have I said that a lot in this video? Oh my God, I am such a horrible YouTuber. I'm not a YouTuber. I just talked to you guys on camera. Mise en Sur Trashel by Alberto Morillas. I think this is one of my favorite perfumers. I have to do more research, but I think, I mean, he's like, you know, the Beyonce of perfume making, but this is, this is such a, uh, what are, what are the words? Ayúdenme, no sé cómo decirlo. It's a beautiful, beautiful summer, spring vanilla that makes you feel very flirtatious, very young and like vibrant. Oh, this is just, this is to die for. Oh, let me read you the notes. Let's see. Like, it doesn't last that long, but it lasts okay. It lasts decent, especially for it being like a summery vanilla. Oh, they have a cute story on here. Dear stranger, this letter might never reach you. I've read this before, I forgot. You guys have to read this story that I share online. So this has orange blossom and broxen. What's that? Jasmine, bourbon, vanilla, what's that? Sandalwood. Uh, let me think of other vocabulary words I can use. Maravilloso. Wow. Wow. This is... This is give it to me. It's the cat's up. Mise en seur that I share is probably my best buy as of late. That's it. I have more, but those, you know, those are definitely the ones that I'm like, yes, I bought them. <laughs> I'm so happy to be on here with you. Uh, so happy to be on here with you guys again. Hopefully I won't take that long to make another video. I really hope not because this is so fun. I love being here and I love talking to you guys. So please leave me your comments and let's talk to me if you've tried any of these what have you tried lately what do you recommend me trying my taste is very all over the place so i don't even know like it's, i'm very unpredictable 
typical Scorpio. Scorpio season's coming up. Hey, more Scorpio videos. Hopefully I'll get to those. Ciao, mis amores. Los amo tanto. I hope you're having great lives and you're feeling the best. And when you're not, go take a sniff of your perfumes because that always makes me feel better. Ciao. Nos vemos. Los quiero mucho.